Hello guys, and welcome back! We're last left off, we are fighting a, a pointless and hopeless war against the Soviets. Our supply situation has gotten much better because we've been moving back, but there's not much we can really do. It's just retreats when uh, we start to look like we're going to be encircled. With the exception of, apparently, uh, here. Uh, in Wausau, because Wausau is actually a pretty good defensive place. Although... It says there's only one man here, so we're going to give that a try. Tank should probably be leading that. So, uh, you will stay there. In fact, you're, you need to recover, so you will stay there. Run normal as it is. You could knock out these tanks. That's something we can do. We retreat to Danzig and trying to get to Finland. And supporting the Italian invasion. Or is this? Over there. Yeah, we're, we're trying to retreat from there and go to the across the river at Danzig. Because uh, rivers are extremely important uh, natural defenses. Yeah, you're all moving back. In fact, you, you should probably stay there. On that point. We can't hold the entire front. There's always, like, little... Play you know what? Let them have that. We might be able to encircle them if they overstretch. In through, like, the cracks in our lines. Okay, we're getting close. There we go. Dropped off. We won. Now! Now we shall turn the tables! We have six of my finest motorized divisions. We shall attack in Helsinki. Where are the key regions? Just there and there. Right. We can take Helsinki, then we can immediately go up. And then we can knock out Finland. And I know they've got a few men hanging around. So it's very important that we do that. And the tanks, you need to stay still over there. It's been a few days. They haven't really launched any offensive. They're just sort of standing there with all their men. Hope that's not setting the precedent. Hope they are actually going to be moving. They're moving around, but they're not moving to attack. Meanwhile, we're just, you know, fighting the most of the Russian army. I wish I got further in the time that I had. Also, you... You was being attacked by rebels here. I don't care about those rebels. They can have that island. They can forge their own nation there. For all I care. So move to Helsinki. And then move back. Uh, yeah, just stop. Stop fighting. Uh, when I say stop fighting, I do mean stop fighting. Yeah, because they took that position from the US, so it was pointless. All of you, you should be retreating, like, back to here. Actually, uh, uh damn it, you should probably just stay there. Never mind, so, uh, if I... One might do it. Although I can, uh... I, what I'll do is I'll, uh... I'll section off one. And he can also go up to attack. We keep two men in Helsinki, one man can move up to here, and with that, we'll be able to knock out uh, Finland, we might even be able to create, like, a little diversion in the north or something. Because God knows we need the help. Wausau, though, is looking increasingly bad. They could easily cut us off and kill 12 divisions, so... I'm just gonna have to retreat. Fall back from Wausau. Besides this massive front that they can just march all over. Damn it, why do they have to come home from Asia? <laughs> it's completely destroyed everything. Okay, start getting this going. Uh, or, although, is there anything else I could get that would be great? Uh, let's get the hospital or something. No, that, we, that wouldn't even be very good. Uh, just go for the heavy tank. Just have to find one of the many researchers in my list. I have you or something. Yeah, we don't have much of a hope to win, but I'm not, I don't want to really cheat my way out of this one. I don't want to just say, hey, I've, uh, accept all, you know, puppet state Soviets. That's not what I want. This is the war. Just amazing how much men they can field in that Germany. Got this, that far, I should have really 
No, I would have never been able to beat Germany. This is the only hope we have. The entire world against the Soviet Union. And even then, Soviet Union wins. Intelligence, right. Can I do anything with intelligence? Sabotaging to refund partisans. Goddamn anywhere. We failed. <laughs> Never mind. Whoever shots to try and distract them somehow. Anyway, we'll try. We can try to get from there and then straight up to there. Division has been upgraded. More tank upgrades. Looks like we're going to be cut off at this rate. Uh, can we cut them off? It's actually not for all the ones. We just have like the major ones here. Launch an attack down there. Nine versus nine. Defenders are losing. And we can send uh, oh, do you know this panzer can go up as well. And let me guess, they just reinforced. Yeah, they reinforced. Making that entire attack worthless. Just defeats across the board. Uh, and now we're defend. Why are we defending? I don't care about holding that land. Oh, you're gonna go there and kill my men, aren't you? Unless we get there really fast. But hopefully they won't get there first and kill them. Okay, we made it. I don't care about holding that land. As long as it's hold we're holding Helsinki and we get to this point over here, I don't care. Defeat. We just don't have the uh, organization yet. Okay. Time to launch. Oh, wait. You've encircled someone. Cool. Uh, launch you over there. Can also have these tanks. Actually, we can just have you. You move there. You all I need also someone fast. So I'm gonna have to split you off. Just the one. Move down there. I'll have the tanks attack this one unit. And killed some of them. And a, ah, actually, a lawn here. They've left this open, so if this panzer can get here. And also, anybody, like my tanks. They can also get there. I might be able to section off this group. It's our only hope, at this point, to just sort of hope that they, when they try and get through the cracks in our line, we can kill them. Okay, launch another attack. You can win, you just need to get your organization right. Okay, we cut them off. In fact, France did it. France did it for us. Let's see if we can get uh, you and this... Uh, the Panzer can stay there, I suppose. Don't want to wear them out. Uh, damn, they managed to get back there. It's all doom and gloom, I'm afraid, from now on, folks. It's all about the... We're just going to be defeated all the way back. Looks like, after all, they're gonna be able to retreat. I should have waited till my men actually got there first. And then tried to kill them, because, uh, yeah, they're gonna retreat back, and we're not gonna kill anyone. No, oh, well, we can at least take this point back. Probably should just send the... Got him. Get out of my way! Send the Belgium troop, keep them motorized. Make it a very thin line, straight forward. Enemy sided, Soviet Union, whatever. I know. Give this man in Berlin. Got so many divisions down here that can't do anything. I suppose we can try. Might as well launch offensives. It takes, uh... Troops away. Could be able to section off the free tanks down here. Yeah, 12 versus 3. In fact, I'm going to make sure that uh, we do win this one, so I'm going to commit a few more. 
fact, I'm gonna commit everyone to just support the attack. Okay, that's good. We're... No, we're losing. And we're also fighting 25 divisions! Great! Even when we section them off, we can't win because they immediately break back in. No, you deal that partisan. <sighs> Such a problem. Such a, a goddamn problem what we got here. Might be able to win here, though. Launch uh, offensive to kill these Soviet tanks and do some damage. And here is a very disappointing lot of British Raj and everybody troops and they're not moving up. They won't give me control, will they? They might have if I... Oh, no, they're... they would give me control. Okay, you know what? I'm fighting the war on my own, for, uh, my own terms. So, yeah. You guys. You. Move up. Everybody here, support the attack. Just goddamn do something. Stop just dilly-dallying. Move. Is that why? Because you can't actually beat them. That is... Oh, a lot of your troops are completely underpowered. So it doesn't matter how many divisions you have. You just don't have the manpower to actually back it up. Yeah, I forget I did anything. They just don't have the manpower. That's the problem with uh, most of their troops. These massive... So the swaths are cutting is destroying us. Although they've, I think they've, they've definitely overstretched here. So I'll first move to cut them off, and then we can kill them. Same here. They, oh wait, that's not divisions moving back. Never mind. We've at least one here, so we can go there and then. What all of you can do is can have you attacking. You can support the attack. You want to attack yourself, probably, and everyone else can support the attack. And that will hopefully kill a few more Soviet tanks. Tanks are hard to make, at least. They do take some time. How are we doing? Already 6% of the way done. Oh, we actually do have one motorized division we can put down. Cool, uh... I need you... Ev I need everyone everywhere, really, so... Have you there. And when you move, if you can just hold Helsinki, and then move up here, as long as uh, that is... yeah, that is all of them, we can annex Finland, and then try and create that northern block that I wanted. Okay, seriously. What just happened? Okay, they just sort of took all this and regrouped, so... Yeah, there's no hope in really cutting those guys off. Unless we can stop attacking, there's no point. No point even resisting anymore! Yeah... I think we're done for, guys. Could do the hacks, really could, but I don't want to be that dishonest. Okay, whatever, Just attack. How many men is there? Seven. Yep, never mind. Committed far too many men there. Might have to even look at uh, retreating. Just have to wait and see. There's no way, apparently, there's that we can actually kill them. Hey, Soviet Union, just out of curiosity, now rejected white peace. Well, guys, I'm gonna end it here, and I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Do you want me to have shrewd negotiating tactics and just declare peace? Or do you want me to fight to the bitter end? Uh, depending if you want me to, uh, fight to the bitter end. I'll use this save. If you want me to declare peace, 
I'll go back to the save before I was uh, pushed back this far uh, and declare peace there, because if I uh, declare peace now, what'll happen is uh, they'll be able to go for these branches here and invade my allies. If I declare peace when I control all the borderlands, they won't at least be able to go for Europe. They'll have to go for Turkey. So uh, let me know in the comments of this video. You decide whether we make peace with the Soviets or... I commit to this war to the bitter end, and we fight them all the way to the Empire line. It's up to you guys. This one's completely up to you. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. By the way, uh, if you if we do the clear peace, I'll work on nukes, and maybe get a stockpile of nukes, and then redeclare war. Hopefully, with my allies fully up to date. Like uh, if I declare peace, I'll probably uh, make loads of puppet states. That will help. That will hopefully not declare war. Uh, depending, I might even force the Soviet Union. See, this is all if you vote for me to just keep going with the war. None of this will happen. But if you vote for um, me keeping in the war, or uh, getting out of the war, then probably create the puppet states out of the land I have. And if they go to war, I'll make, make the Soviets declare peace with them or something. And uh, we'll see what goes from there. Might even. It, no, I, I was going to say, I might even say, oh, should we just declare peace across the board, and then it'll be all of us versus the Soviets next time. I think that's a bit much, though. Anyway, it's all up to you in the comments, so let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.